Alrighty, so this should be a quick video, and this one's going to be covering product sales. So I want to cover how do you manually list your own products for sale, as well as how do you apply or how do you get into the Epic sale events. For example, Black Friday, when Epic held a big event where pretty much almost every product was on sale. I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can actually get your product into that. So what would happen with those, let's start there first, is you'll receive an invite through your email such as this. So this is my latest one that was received two days ago, which I need to apply for, and your Unreal Engine Marketplace January sale invitation. So it's pretty self-explanatory what you have to do. So you may submit one product that we would set to a fixed discount of 50% off. It tells you the date, so this sale will be going from January 11th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time all the way through January 16th at midnight Eastern Time. So basically all you have to do is where it says click here to schedule your sale, you just click there. You have the product, so you just have to add your product name and its URL. So let's go ahead and get the product name of the one I want to submit. And I'm just going to ask her, I'm just going to end up doing this one like I always do. So if you go down to product title, copy the whole title, and paste that in for the product name. Then what you have to do is go over here to the publish, basically the URL that you're going to be using, copy that, and paste it inside the product URL, and hit done. So it'll say thank you for uh, participating in the sale, we have received your requests, and all that stuff. Then if you go back, you should receive the sale confirmation stated here. So that pretty much sums up how you would submit to be in one of their sales, such as their January sale or their Black Friday sale or anything like that. Next up, I'm going to show you how to manually submit your products for sale. Alrighty, so here's basically the template that I follow. So I list my title of the product I want to put on sale. I list the dates that I want it to go on sale through. I list the percentage off that I want it to be. And then I list the product link. So you can do these for a number of products, and they're all going to be to the Marketplace support. So if I hit Compose and search for Marketplace, it would be through to, of course it's not going to show, but UE Marketplace support at epicgames.com. So that's where you would send it through. And I give the subject of product sale. I got to make sure I don't actually send this. And then you would just add in all the information. So for the title, I would again be using my title, the product, then the dates that I want it to be on. So I'm going to fill out the date last because that actually needs some explaining. So I'll grab the URL. I'll give the percentage off. I want to do, let's do 75% off, for example. And then we have the date. So to sum it up, if you want to put your product on sale, you must issue the sale at minimum 14 days before it actually goes on sale. So if I grab the calculator, we are currently on December 9th. Let's say I want this product to go on sale as early as possible. So I would have to go from the 9th plus 14, and that would make it the 23rd. So the earliest that I could put this product on sale would be December 23rd. So what I would do is 12 2, 3, 2021 and then I would want to put a dash and then the ending date that I want the sale to go on. So the longest that a sale can be up is 14 days just like the delay for the submission. So that means if I want to have the sale run the longest amount of time possible I would have to wait or make this go 14 days past the 23rd of January. So here we have January 23rd, so let's go to the 30th, so that's 7. Then January 6th, which would be 14. So that would be 01, 06, 2022. So this sale would run for 14 days, starting on January 23rd of 2021, and it would run through, or sorry, December 23rd of 2021, and it would run through January 6th of 2022. And that is the longest that the sale can go. If I wanted to reduce that, I can. So I could do, you know, let's make the sale go all the way up to January 1st. I can do so. And the same thing goes if you want to have multiple products go on sale. Let's say you want all of your products to go on sale. 
So this one would be, you know, uh, project or product two. This one would be product one. And then, you know, they would have different links like so. So that's how you would list three of your products on sale. They can all be different amounts. So this one could be 50% off. This one could be 30% off. The other one could be 75, so on and so on. Then once you have all this information filled out, you would hit send and you will receive a confirmation that you have reached out to the marketplace support. And that is it. So once that happens, your product will go on sale for whatever dates you have issued in your email. And that's it. So that pretty much sums up, I think, everything about the marketplace that I can think of from a seller's perspective in terms of plugins. Because again, that's that's all I've done, so I don't know much about anything else. But hopefully that wraps up, or at least kind of gets you to the point of over the hurdle of the initial, I guess, triumph of trying to get something up and ready for sale. It's not that bad, especially once you get your first product submitted. Everything else becomes just very easy, especially if you're just updating that plugin. It becomes easy. Just everything gets easier. It's just that initial hurdle. So, again, like I stated in all my other videos, if you if this is something you're trying to do and you are struggling with it, just reach out to me on Discord and I'll be glad to help you out. So, anyways, as with every single outro that I do, if you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, where I have a Team Deathmatch series just for Patreons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you would like to support me in other ways, such as maybe purchasing any of the plugins that you see here, feel free to do so. Uh, they will be linked down in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, you can find a link to my Discord that is linked down below, like I stated earlier. So, that wraps up basically everything I can think of about the marketplace. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask and I'll try to make a response to it. So I'll see you in the next one.